Hello and welcome to Tech Talk, a weekly mini video series talking tech topics. Today I'm joined by Sarah Mysteri. Hi Sarah. Hi. Hey, thanks for joining us today. So Sarah is a data scientist who is currently on maternity leave after having her first child. Uh, so she's recently started preparing herself for returning back to the workplace. And she's found there is a lack of support for mothers who do want to return to, to their careers and, and back into working. So she's decided to take this into her own hands and has started a community for mothers to share experiences and offer support to one another around this topic. Um, so Sarah, maybe you could tell us a little more about your experience and why you felt the need to, to start this project. Uh, thank you. Uh, so my, my journey first started uh, as a software developer and after working as a software developer I felt it's not the thing that I love the most and the thing that uh, makes me uh, create more impact in people's life. So I started my journey and moved to uh, data science and got the, uh, my job as a first uh, a data science and uh, in the right company environment that I am looking for. Mm -hmm. And uh, then after becoming a mom, I started to, like one question raised in my <laughs> mind, which is how can I ma make it work as a mom and an, as an ambitious professional woman? Because mm -hmm. I'm really like, I want to be successful in my career and I believe I can have both. But yeah. with the challenges of motherhood, and all the things that I find in my plate, I was like, if I if it's already like this as a mom mm -hmm. in parental leave, how could it be once I go back to work? And then I started to 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 look for answers and found it really hard because there is not enough uh, advices, tips from other moms, and also there is not. Uh, I didn't feel the, uh, there is a support from the companies, and so. It's like you don't find easy what you are look for, and you we are we are expected to figure everything out mm -hmm. on ourselves yeah. without guidance. Like this change from a professional woman to mom, and then going back to work, it causes a lot of questions and burden. And I felt really that there is a need uh, to find uh, a way to have support each other and also encourage companies to, to support their employees, parents and moms. Yeah, this is what brought me to the idea and started the survey in order to understand more what are the needs of moms and their experience are returning to work. Cool, perfect. Yeah, so as you mentioned there, you did a, a survey so what sort of um, questions did you ask and, and what were the results that you found out from, from this survey? So first, I was so happy because I, find, uh, I, I got uh, 130 mothers who oh, answered okay. the survey. And uh, of them, 49% uh, are full-time employees, 20% are part-time employees, and 16% are in career transition or in unemployed. Okay. I, I asked questions various between like, what are your struggles in career? How was your experience going back to work? What are the benefits that you are looking for? And I mean, everything related to a professional ma working uh, woman who has children. Mm -hmm. And what I found is, like many moms repeatedly mention it, uh, the words being overlooked and not uh, being taken uh, seriously. Mm -hmm. And uh, the reason they say it's like they, once they become mom, they are colleagues, the, they are perceived as mom, not anymore <laughs> like a woman who can do both. Yeah. And she is like uh, automatically classified as uh, the primary caregiver even though she has uh, her partner with her, but now she is automatically like the primary care caregiver and tools. Everything is uh, around that. Like she, they don't like uh, think, I mean, I think companies don't consider them as able to uh, advance their career and they are automatically dismissed from career growth opportunities because of the challenges that may happen, which, uh, which can be finding childcare, 
uh, or like the, the lack of flexibility and also like uh, the lack of support in home responsibilities after mm -hmm. work. Mm -hmm. and so this was really uh, emphasized like being overlooked. And this, uh, this other thing, uh, they all, many mentioned that uh, the working hours and the kita hours, some, some kitas don't close uh, at five, like six or so, and yeah. that doesn't work with the full-time job. Okay. So this is also caused a problem for them. And uh, they also shared that uh, it's the uh, teens that uh, company police policies and like culture is more in favor of uh, childless employees. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. Because there is uh, meetings who happen after 5 p.m. Yeah. And there is like events that have uh, happen after working hours. And this let them miss a lot of opportunities to be in the company and and really uh, benefit from it as an uh, employee and part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine there's a, a lot of struggles there. So maybe you could tell us a little bit more about um, the community that you're looking to create and, and what you're hoping this will be able to, to help with. Yeah. Uh, so the because of the, the survey that I found, I believe, I believe that uh, we need to um, offer more support for moms. And what I found is good is to uh, offer mentoring program mm -hmm. to moms and create uh, like uh, a good environment uh, where they can uh, advance their career goals. And the community, uh, the mission of uh, thriving working moms is mm -hmm. to support mothers returning to work who feel constantly overloaded mm -hmm. by connecting them to professionals, career coaches, and mentor mentors, and the community of like-minded uh, moms, so they advance in their career and enjoy more balance. Because it's like the, the, the challenge is having both, and uh, uh, this is like um, uh, can only happen when there is support uh, from uh, people who believe who 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 offer them their expertise, like for example, how can they uh, manage uh, time and stress and communicate better at work and at home and the proper prioritization. Besides, uh, it's um, like uh, moms uh, in different uh, roles have mm -hmm. different challenges. Like yeah. for me, I couldn't find uh, other moms in the field of data science. Okay. So the idea is to create a circle of working moms in the same field okay. that where they can be, uh, share their challenges, be real and be uh, there for each other. Later cool. on, my, vis my vision is also to have uh, companies be part of it. Amazing. Yeah, I think that sounds fantastic. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of um, other working mums that, that would like to be involved. Uh, so thanks for sharing the details about that, Sarah. I'm going to also share the details for Sarah's Facebook group in the comments. Um, and what is the best way for people to reach out to you if they had any questions, Sarah? Yeah, so they can reach uh, us to me through LinkedIn and also through my Facebook page. Yeah, cool. Perfect. I'll share all of these in, in the comments as well. So you can reach out to Sarah and, and best of luck with everything. I hope it all goes well. It sounds like a great idea and I'm sure there'll be lots of women interested. Um, Thank you so much. I'm very happy to be with you. <laughs> thanks thanks so, so much for sharing all the details. And yeah, and thanks everyone for watching. Thanks a lot, Sarah. Thanks. Bye.